go. So this is part of the slow gym kit. So as you can see, I've done the freezer. I've taken out my frozen gym pack. Uh, what you can see there is you can see the slows. That's the, the uh, brown sugar starting to melt. Uh, there's junipers in there. There's almonds in there. Bits of lemon peel, etc. I'm gonna go start off the slow gin. Okay, so this is part of the slow gin kit. So as you can see, I've done the freezer. I've taken out my frozen gin pack. Uh, what you can see there is you can see the slows. The uh, brown sugar starting to melt. Uh, there's junipers in there, there's almonds in there, bits of lemon peel, etc. I'm going to go start off the slow gin. Alright, so here I'm going to uh, cut open the pack, which has been frozen for at least 24 hours as you can see it's all in there and I'm just going to set that to the side for now and next is the pan I'm going to pour in the gin now the idea isn't to bring this to boil or to get it very hot we just want it warm because um, it's been boiled and it's burning the alcohol off. So there's the gin. Now, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you the temperature. Put that in there. And that's showing 19 degrees. So, I'm going to switch the cooker on. Like I said, the idea is just to warm this up. And we want it warm before we put them in because it helps crack the skins on the slows. So if you haven't to prick them all. And we'll come back in a minute when this is warmed up. Right, so it's been warming up for a couple of minutes. Let's see what the temperature is now. We want it to be at least 45, 50 degrees. Yeah, basically it's just warm enough for your finger going. That's showing 45.5 now. And like I said, you can just go bare put back, so I'll leave it a bit longer because I can easily bare put my finger in that. It's coming up quite fast. 47, 48, 49, 50. Right, we'll do it now. So all you do is get the whole pack, put it in while it's still warm, then uh, what I tend to do is get a little cut, some of the gin into the plastic just to get the last of that sugar out. There's a juniper berry in there as well, I don't know if you can see it. A couple of juniper berries. Right, anyway. Squeeze it all out. It's all dripping out into there. Then, just give it a stir until it's all defrosted. Turn the heat down, so like I said, we don't want it getting hot, we'll just leave it at that. We've got the uh, cooker on number one now. Now, uh, when I'm doing lots, I fill up a few five gallon, uh, five litre, one gallon um, plastic tubs. But uh, as I'm just doing this for the video, I'm just doing single lot. Uh, you can use a empty milk bottle, whatever. What I tend to use though is um, 
is a flask, a thermos flask. Oh, that's the sugar and everything melted now. Switch it off, let that, especially if you're pouring it into a plastic container, leave that to cool right down to um, back down to room temperature before you put it into the plastic container, otherwise it will just suck it in and start to shrink, etc. So we've let that cool down. As you can see, I've got the thermos flask here. That's what I'm going to use. Funnel on top. Pour it all in. All the contents as well. As you can see, after freezing them and then putting them in the warm gin, the slows have all split, so that saves you having to prick each one, so the flavour actually infuses far better. If you just stuck that straight into the cold gin, they wouldn't have split, so now you don't have to prick every single slow. Uh, let's get these down. drop you don't want to waste any do you to save your bottle to put it back into now what I do is um, every day for a week I give it a good shake uh, and then I'll leave it alone just put it somewhere cool go and shake it once a week and then two or three days before Christmas or longer depends if you want to drink it for Christmas I um, tend to leave mine longer until first week in the new year um, because I have mine the following year I always make extra so I'm following on so once I give that a shake that will go in the cupboard I'll shake every day for a week then I'll come back and shake it once a week then I just filter it through either muslin or through um, through coffee filters and here's last year Different colour to the shop bought muck because there's no artificial colourings or anything in there. Um, but I'm now gonna Oh that's so smooth, it's lovely. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your gin.